So last week, something very, very strange actually happened. And that's the fact we actually got TargetCon 2025 exclusive leaks. Considering that SDCC is in July and we haven't even gotten the actual official reveals yet for those exclusives as I'm recording this, and there hasn't even been leaks for New York Comic Con this year, yet somehow there's leaks for a con happening in February of 2025. But I'm DK Wrestler, and in today's video, I'm going to be talking about these leaks that have been posted plus i'm going to be making as shown on the title my very 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 early predictions for targetcon 2025 so let's get right to it so the top of this leak list actually shows a new deadpool pop for the upcoming deadpool and wolverine movie now this i definitely get considering that of course very soon we are going to be getting the release of deadpool and wolverine in theaters which i will say first of all that i'm really excited about this movie so excited that i've already purchased my ticket for this movie basically a month in advance there's going to be probably a lot more deadpool and wolverine pops coming out besides just the couple of common waves we have gotten especially with new york comic-con still yet to happen there's probably going to be an exclusive for that so i'm not surprised that there is going to be an exclusive for targetcon 2025 probably some sort of moment involving deadpool that we have yet to see haven't even seen in the trailers yet next pop that's listed is beetlejuice and then in bracket snake now i'm not exactly sure whether this is pertaining to the original movie or the fact that we are getting a movie coming out this fall I believe of Beetlejuice too. So either or, I think it definitely makes sense for the hype of that new movie. Then listed here is a new He-Man and Skeletor for Masters of the Universe. Masters of the Universe has been this huge line for Funko that I just have lost track on basically what has been made and what hasn't been made. Because I know there was a couple of years ago even the He-Man rides that was a TargetCon exclusive. I'm not exactly sure where they're going with this, whether it's a ride, it's a single pop, a 10 inch pop. I'm not exactly sure. It's not really exciting me though, realistically. Then listed here is a pop deluxe of Spider-Man for the Marvel lineup. And then in brackets, it's webbed. Now this is very intriguing, not gonna lie, considering that obviously what makes it a deluxe form is probably going to be the webs. Now, I wonder how they're going to pull this off. Maybe like you have two sides of a building and then you have the web in between. This is something that if it does come true, I'm excited to see what it looks like in person. Then for all of you anime fans listed here is a pop of Tengen Uzui, which I know I butchered that name for sure, from Demon Slayer. Now with anime, a lot of times besides, of course, Yu-Gi-Oh, I don't really concentrate on those lineups all that much. So I'm not sure if this specific character has had a Funko Pop yet or not. Not. And if it hasn't, cool, but then at the same time, why is it a 10 inch pop realistically? Maybe the fact that it is a bit of a trend that we've had a 10 inch anime pop, like we had the Naruto pop that was released last year, or I should say this year, because we're still in 2024. And then speaking of anime, the last thing listed is a pop wanted poster from One Piece, and it's of Nami. Once again, I'm not really surprised that they're making more wanted posters, but I wouldn't have expected this to happen as terms to kind of the smaller, convention but not convention in the form of target con so it is a bit surprising and then there's also the fact that they have done some sort of covers in the past for target cons out of all of the ones that are listed here and if they all come true that's probably going to be indeed the first one to sell out because one piece seems to be the number one anime right now for funko but now moving on to my predictions which in this video i have five predictions listed down of course all of them being funko pots because who knows what they're going to have as terms to other products like let's say sodas potentially or even the lounge fly bags so the first one that i have listed down here is a two-pack of bianca belair and jade cargill for the wwe lineup now the last couple of years we have had wwe pops in the form of the becky two belts from 2022 the andre and hogan in-ring moments for 2023 and even this year in 2024 we had the kane and edge two-pack so it seems to be this reoccurring trend that we may be getting a wwe pop every single single year and it was difficult to like think exactly what it is because it was so all over the place the last couple of years with like a single pop in ring moments and then a two pack so I just kept it with the trend of a two pack and especially with two superstars that have been a tag team this year and one of them who has already had multiple Funko Pops in the form Bianca Belair but with the superstar who hasn't had a single Funko Pop yet in the form of Jade Cargill and I mean also Bianca Belair and Jade Cargill were the WWE Women's Tag Team Champions so I wouldn't be 
surprised if we actually got this two pack at some point. The second pop that I had predicted on my list is a black light max from Stranger Things. Now, this is basically based off the fact that last year we did get the two pack of the Black Light Robin and Steve from Stranger Things, and it has been a pretty reoccurring trend, whether it is Target Con, whether it's just Target or even Entertainment Earth, where we have been getting an abundance of Black Light Stranger Things pops. And the fact that I believe it will be 2025 that we actually get the fifth and final season of Stranger Things. So you know that in 2025, Funko is going to be producing quite quite a bit of Stranger Things pops so that they can bring hype towards this upcoming season, which is going to be hopefully a very banger season. I can't wait to see it. The third pop I have predicted here is a 10 inch Teddy Ursa from Pokemon. Now, another trend that has happened for TargetCon over the years are 10 inch Pokemon pops. We had had the silver metallic Pikachu one year, the 10 inch Lucario, 10 inch Munchlax. And I believe we did have one for 2024 selection. So I wouldn't be surprised that we do get a 10 inch Pokemon pop. And I went with Teddy Ursa because it is pretty much the newest wave that's coming out that will be released in 2024, because I know there is going to be an upcoming set that includes, I believe, Gengar Final but I don't think that that set's going to be released on time to where that they would actually have that four inch set release just before a 10 inch version in time for Target Con. I think that if they were to make, let's say a 10 inch Gengar, it would come out much later than February of 2025. But with this new set, including Teddy Ursa, it probably will have the regular set release way before Target Con 2025, but they can make it in time for it. So that's where I'm going with it. But I can guarantee you that if it's not Teddy Ursa, there would be a 10 inch Pokemon pop coming out for Target Con in 2025. The fourth pop I have listed here is a Sonic Adventure 2 pop game covers from Sonic the Hedgehog. Now, one big reason I wanted to predict this is the fact that this upcoming December will be the release of the Sonic the Hedgehog 3 movie. And one of the big focal points of that movie is the fact that the character of Shadow is going to be heavily featured. And Shadow made his debut in the Sonic universe Universe during Sonic Adventure 2. So I think it would make sense, even though that game covers should be exclusive to GameStop. This is what I meant earlier about Funko doing a lot of covers per se for TargetCon, that maybe they might want to do a game covers realistically for a TargetCon exclusive. And so I would assume that the pop, of course, has to be Shadow in this case, considering, like I mentioned, this was the debut of Shadow during the Sonic the Hedgehog universe is an adventure too. And so once again, also with the hype going towards this third movie that will be releasing two months prior to Target Con 2025, that I think it would make sense to release it basically just as the movie is most likely still going to be in theaters. And the fifth and final pop I predicted for TargetCon 2025 is Stinky Pete from Toy Story 2. Now you're probably thinking, DK, there already is a Stinky Pete pop that's a special T-Series exclusive that released last year. However, the route I'm going with this is that it's going to be a black and white variant. A couple of reasons behind my logic for this. First off is the fact that a couple of years ago at TargetCon, we did get a black and white Donald for the specific, I believe, Donald Duck set that had came out during that year. 2025 will mark the 30th anniversary of the very first Toy Story movie, so I do expect Funko to make a lot of Toy Story pops in 2025. And why I went with something a little basic for this is the fact that I don't think they're gonna do like a brand new character for such a tiny, I guess, con per se, as terms to Target Con, they'd probably say that for San Diego or New York Comic Con. So they'd probably just do a color swap for the Stinky Pete. Plus it would make sense since he is black and white during the Woody's Roundup TV series that they watched during Toy Story 2. But then in that 20th anniversary wave that is almost 10 years old at this point, there was the Woody pop that had came out plus a box lunch exclusive black and white Woody. So I hope over time that if the Stinky Pete ended up coming true, then there'd be a Jesse and of course, a bullseye, but I think they would only do one pop at a time realistically. And I think for something like a Target Con, that maybe Stinky Pete may be the perfect choice to go with out of the three characters we have still yet to get as terms to a black and white version. Anyways, guys, that's gonna be the end of today's video. If you enjoyed today's video of me talking about the leaks and my early predictions for TargetCon 2025, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know about your opinion of these leaks or your predictions 
for TargetCon 2025 down below. But I hope you enjoyed this video and hope to see you guys next time. One, two, three, I'm out of here.